Um, okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a new drawing. So this is for the um, free body diagram sample. So I'm going to change the name to free <coughs> body diagram. All right. So I'm going to make a template and then duplicate it and try to fit it on one. So the first thing I can do is uh, it's going to be on an inclined plane, so I'm going to draw a shape, a triangle, and that'll be like my inclined plane. Now, if I want to change, I want to make that a bright orange. Looks kind of cool. And so that's the, that's the uh, triangle. Then the next thing I want to do is draw like the cart. So I'm going to click on the shapes. And I'm gonna do. Let's do. Let's do something like this. This looks. Or wait. I don't know which shape do you guys want to do. Yeah, we'll just do a rectangle. So I'm gonna do a rectangle, and uh, let's make that a pretty color red. And now I'm gonna put the wheels on next. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a circle, and I'm gonna draw it over here. Try to get it as close to a circle as possible. And I'm going to change that to like a dark, oh, let's make it real colorful. We'll make it like a dark purple. All right. Now, if I go to edit, I can duplicate that, which is the same as hitting control D. Now, by doing that, I can take my first wheel, put it right here, and then take my second wheel. And see that little red line? If I go up, the red line goes away. But the red line helps me get the wheels to where they're kind of matching. All right. Now, the next thing I could do is I can take my mouse and highlight both of them. And if I go to Arrange and Group, it takes all three of those drawings. And now when I click on it, all three of those drawings are the same. Now, if I click on this, it allows me to rotate my cart to fit on my inclined plane. And I'm just going to rotate that until I feel pretty comfortable with it. And I think, I, looking at this now, I think my incline plane could be bigger, so I'm going to make it a little bigger. And then I noticed that my cart could be tilted a little more. Boom. Now, I want to do an up and a down, so I want like a background color. So I'm going to make a big shape rectangle. It's about half the page. All right. Uh-oh, I covered everything up. So now what I want to do is if I go to Arrange, Order, I could send that all the way to the back because the pictures are in layers. And so if I make this my background, the background layer, and push it all the way to the back, then the other stuff will be on top of it. So think of it like construction paper. I cut out a shape. I place it on top. Uh, I could change how I do that. So I'm going to make this like a dark blue background. And now, if I come in and I use my mouse and I highlight these, now they're all one picture, okay? But I'm not done yet. I want to add, like, a box, a text box. So I'm going to say this is the cart that goes up. Now I'm just going to call it the up cart. I'm going to highlight that, change this to a bigger size, and maybe we'll change the color to white so we can see it better. And I'll put this up here. And we'll try to center that as best we can. And then off to the side, I might want to do like my free body diagram. So what I'll do with my free body diagram is I'm going to take my little circle. And I'll fill that in with uh, white. And then I'm going to make my arrows. Now to do the arrows, if you go to lines, there's an arrow symbol already. And if I just start here, I'm going to have one arrow that goes like this. I'll have one arrow that's gravity, like this. I'll have another arrow that's the normal force, that's like this. I'll have a tension one here. And then I'll have another one here. And if you notice, I've got a lot of arrows. I can take this center one and if I hit tab, tab will scroll through each object. So I want this white circle to be <coughs> on the top. So I'm going to hit order and bring that one all the way to the front. And then just by clicking on the arrows, I can position the arrows wherever I want them to be.
and I'll clean it up a little bit. And then you can go through and change the color of the arrows and all that stuff. And so this would be like my free body diagram. Okay? And so that's pretty much it. Does anybody have any questions on how to do that? Yes. Or are you just stretching? You're stretching? Okay. Now, now that I have my up cart, if I hit Control A, I'll select everything, and then I can arrange that in a group. So now when I want to change the size of this, it changes the size of everything. Now if I hit Control D, which is duplicate, now I have a second picture that I have. I could change, now if I ungroup that, now that I've ungrouped that, I can go on and change each one of these objects the way that I want. And I maybe, maybe I'll change the background color of this like so, and maybe because that conflicts with this color, maybe I'll do something like this. See what I did there? Any questions? If you have questions, let me know. But that's